emotional kids and a happy Mother's Day. Make sure to tell your mom or the mother figure in your life how much you appreciate them and love them for the things that they do for you. We love our moms and we love the people in our lives who act like moms towards us when we need it most. We, right here at One and All Kids, are in week two of our series called Raise Your Game, where we are learning about having confidence in God. Confidence is hard to come by, especially when the world around us is telling us that we aren't good enough. Our memory verse is from Hebrews 13, 6a, and it says, so we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. Keep working on memorizing that verse so that we can always remember that God is with us. Last week, we learned about the last command that Jesus gave his disciples. This week, we're learning about the Holy Spirit. Let's check it out. What up? We are got. We, we are got. got. We no, are got some we, stuff. We got. We have some stuff. <laughs> Tyler, help us. <laughs> you guys are going to be playing Speak Out. Not the edition you've seen before, but the original edition. You guys are each going to take a turn putting the Speak Out thing in your mouth. These hurt so bad. And you are going to try to get me to guess the phrase on Ooh. the card. You're going to say that phrase, and I'm going to try to guess what that phrase is. Gosh. You each have one timer limit of time. I believe it is one minute to get me to guess as many as you can. All right. Are you ready? I think so. Uh, who wants to go first? I think ladies first, because that's how I would rate All right, so. Julianne. <laughs> Oh hurts. yeah, I know, it, it does hurt. So kids at home, it's gonna hurt. I'm gonna be honest, I feel Sorry. like dentists could really benefit from these tools. Hello. They probably could. It, <laughs> it feels like a torture device, really, so. All right, Ooh. Julianne, here we go. Josh, start the timer. Okay. When you're ready, Julianne, three, two, one, go. I can't quickly pop the balloons. I can't quickly pop Balloons. I can't quickly pop the balloons. That was good. She's good. Maggie, this is the boat. Maggie. Mag Maggie, this is the boat. This is the boat. Maggie misses the boat. Huh? Nice. Oh, good. Oh, pugs practice jumping rope. Pugs practice jumping rope. Yay! Wow, she's good. We'll have to risk it for the biscuit. We'll have to risk it for the biscuit. Bells for Mr. North. Bells for Mr. North? Yeah, dang. One with the bells. Born with the bells. One with the bells? Born. <laughs> Born with the bells. <laughs> Never let neighbors eat hot wieners. <laughs> Never let neighbors eat hot wieners. <laughs> I'm out of time, out of time, out of time. Out of time. Never let neighbors eat hot wieners. Never let neighbors eat hot, dogs. Eat like hot, hot dogs. wieners yeah. like hot, hot dogs. dogs. That's hard to yep. say. Yeah, very difficult. I'm not really, very a, hot I'm not really a hot dog fan. Wow, you that was so strange. very impressive. <laughs> I am super duper impressed with her. I think they're, you, I think they're tailored really to good. be hard. <clears throat> they, they have a lot of letters that are hard to pronounce with that thing in your mouth. Yeah, All that right, was let's intense. see. I'm super impressed. Um, yeah, count them out. So Josh knows how many he's trying to get to? I guess, yeah, sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, what a holy that's number. like God's number. Oh wait, right no, there. I didn't count the last one, so six. Oh, oh, it's less two, God's number. Eight. All right. That's less of God's number, true, true, true. All right, right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Okay, in it, porridge begins breakfast. It, Something porridge begins breakfast? In it, porridge. Begin. Minute porridge begins breakfast. Yes, okay. Uh, a nun played paintball viciously. A nun played paintball viciously. Yeah. Okay. Pelicans and parakeets have a all. Pelicans and parakeets have it all? Have a all. Have a ball. Yes, okay, okay. Uh, doomed family vacation. Doomed family vacation. Yes, okay. Uh, moolah in my wallet. Moolah in my wallet? Yeah. That's weird, okay. Elephants make pounds of food. Elephant make pounds, makes- Elephants make elephants pounds make of poop. Elephants make pounds of poop. Yeah, nice. okay. okay. Oh, you're Night good. Nightingales feed fairly often. Nightingales 
feed very That's often. It. Does that count, the last one? It was outside of the time. Okay. How many was that? Let's count them. One, did I get it two, right, though? Three, four, five, six. six. You did get it right. Oh. But it was outside oh, no. the time limit. It was outside the time so limit. So we need to break out our tiebreaker game? Oh. We do. <laughs> we need to break it's out time. our tiebreaker oh. game. Friends, I'm Pastor Shannon, and we are in our second week of our series about confidence. Last week, we raised our game by learning about how we are supposed to go out and tell the world around us about Jesus. This week, we're raising our game by learning about the Holy Spirit. Our bottom line this week is God sent the Holy Spirit to help you. In life, we all have things that we can do by ourselves with zero help from anyone else. But we also have things that we for sure can't do on our own. There are just some things we need help with. Wouldn't it be great if there was some machine or some tricked out device that we could ask or a button we could press and it would solve all our problems? I mean, how great would it be if we didn't understand something in math and we could push a button on our desk and just like that, we would know how to divide fractions like a champ. Or if we weren't sure how to get along with a friend, we could ask some gadget or machine and suddenly have the insight we need to stay best friends forever. That'd be pretty fantastic. Unfortunately, that kind of thing doesn't exist. Just because some fancy tech thing or machine doesn't exist for those life situations, that doesn't mean we have to go through them on our own. When Jesus ascended into heaven, he promised his disciples that he would send a helper so that they could do the task he gave them, sharing the good news all over the world. That helper was the Holy Spirit. In Acts 2 verses 1 through 4, we find the believers gathered together for the day of Pentecost. It says, when the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each one of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. The Holy Spirit had arrived and it filled each of the believers gathered for Pentecost. The Holy Spirit even enabled them to speak languages they had never heard or learned before. That sounds like an excellent gift to have to share the good news with the world. After this moment, Peter came to share the good news of Jesus with a huge crowd of people. Because of that, many people were baptized and believed in Jesus. At the start of the story, the disciples weren't quite sure how they would share the message of Jesus with the whole world. They didn't know how God would send the Holy Spirit. They might have even been a bit anxious about how all of this would happen. But in a moment, everything changed. And there was Peter sharing the truth of Jesus to thousands of people. But remember, this wasn't just him. Peter was doing this through the power of God's Holy Spirit. If Peter tried to do this on his own, he might have been too scared to speak or fumbled his words, but he relied on the Holy Spirit to help him. And all sorts of people heard about Jesus. I have someone here to talk about what this is like, so let's hear from them. Hi everyone, my name's Marissa, and how many of you play a sport? Maybe basketball, baseball, soccer? What about even football? Well, one of my favorite sports to play is volleyball. I started playing volleyball when I was eight years old. When I started playing, I wasn't very good. <laughs> I had to learn new skills, the rules of the game, and what position I would be best at. I was really, really nervous, and I didn't think I would ever be a good enough player. So one of the first challenges I had was when I was nine years old, I had to learn how to serve the ball over the net. And I was the shortest one on my team, so all my friends were super, super tall, and I was about this tall. And so one of my coaches didn't believe in me that I could serve the ball over the net, and that really, really hurt my feelings. I held in my tears at practice when that happened, and so I ran home after practice, and I went straight to my mom and my parents, and I told them what had happened, and I immediately burst into tears. I remember thinking how badly I wanted to quit and give up. My parents reminded me that I could do it, so I didn't give up and I kept trying. 
I asked a different coach if they can help me and they did. They helped me for two months straight and we practiced for an hour before practice just on serving. And I couldn't do it on my own, but with my coach's help, I was able to serve the ball over the net. Two months later from being told I wouldn't be able to serve the ball over the net, I finally did it. But I had to prove to my coaches I could do it, so I went to the end line and I started sweating a little bit extra. I got nervous, my face was sweating, my hands were sweating, and my team and my coaches were watching me. I remember I took one deep breath, and I threw, I threw the ball up and I hit it and it goes over the net. I was so happy. But right after I celebrated and I thanked God because he helped me. He sent the Holy Spirit down and gave me the strength to serve the ball over the net. And without him, I wouldn't have been able to succeed. Are you ready to rock them? It's happening. Sock them, some robots? It's happening. Kids, I feel like this is a new a new thing for you, but whenever we tie, Julianne and Josh are gonna play a game of rock em, sock em robots. In this game, they control each a robot, Julianne red, Josh blue, and the minute that one of them hits the other one in the head and the head pops up, you guys, there it is. When it looks like, like that, that, then the other person wins. So. How do I restart mine? Take Are you guys ready? Rock'em, sock'em, tiebreaker in three, two, one, go! <laughs> yeah, oh, what? Oh! What? I don't know <laughs> who <laughs> won! <laughs> I don't know who won! Should we do it again? I'm not sure. We're gonna go okay. to the judges. We're gonna like go we to just... the cameras. <laughs> the cameras have said it. You don't have to play again. Okay. Julianne won. <laughs> Julianne got... The Rock'em Sock'em just in time. So congratulations, oh Julianne. But you both Good did job. excellent at Speak Out. Really proud of you guys. Good job, Julianne. Tyler, you did excellent good at work. Speak Out. You know what, thank that you. Was really good. Thank you, yeah, I I'm appreciate that. You, Tyler. Very I'm impressed with the kids who guessed all the words before me, the phrases before me. They're excellent too. All oh, right. I got tripped up over that melon thing with the elephants. It was a tough so. one. All right, I think it's time to move Let's on to this. service. Let's go. See ya. God sent the Holy Spirit to help you. When we choose to follow Jesus, God sends the Holy Spirit to be with us, just like the Spirit was with the disciples. The Spirit comes to live inside of us. The Spirit nudges us in the right direction, gives us that, hold up, think about this before you do it feeling. And since the Spirit is always with you, you can know deep down that you'll have the right things to say at the right time to help someone, show love to someone, and even change their life. With the help of the Holy Spirit, you can love God and love others. You can live with confidence, knowing that God's Spirit is with you. So this week, go out and listen for the direction of the Holy Spirit and share about Jesus with someone in your life. Let's pray. God, thank you that you've sent your helper that we don't have to do life alone. God, I pray this week that you would go with us into our schools, into our family, into our friendship groups, God, and that you would use us to bring those that are far from you near to you and that you would speak through us and that others would experience your love because of your spirit in us. We love you, amen. Wow, oh wow. That must have been amazing to see the Holy Spirit fill the balloons. I can't believe that we have that same spirit in us. I'm so thankful that God sent the Spirit to be our helper. We can show how thankful we are by listening to Jesus's commands and by listening to the pull of the Holy Spirit. One of the commands that Jesus gives us is to give our offer. When we give up something we love, like our money for something we love more, we are showing God and the world around us that Jesus is the most important thing. You can talk to your parents and leaders about giving your offering today. Next up is our chance to grow together. Whether you're going into your community group or heading into worship, we are excited that we get to do life together. Let's go.
God who is We worship the God who evermore will be He opened the prison doors He parted the raging sea My God, He holds the victory with all of you. Next week is also another chance for us to learn more about living our life with confidence. So don't forget to bring some friends. Until then, we want to send you out into the week with one hope, one life in Christ. Christ. Bye friends. See you later.